Throughout your trading journey, you're gonna find yourself experiencing an enormous amount of negative self-talk. You're gonna find yourself beating yourself up after losses, and you're potentially even gonna find yourself going through depressive periods of where you question every single thing you do as a trader. So what I wanna do in this video is I wanna share with you exactly what I share with my six-figure traders to help them remove negative self-talk or toxic self-talk from their trading so that they can continue to build momentum even in difficult periods in their trading. So let's get into it. Now, the first and most important distinction we have to make is this. In reality, if we're to look at a human being, whether they're trading the markets or not, just a human being in general, and we're to objectively observe their actions throughout the day and objectively observe their mood and their feelings and their emotions throughout the day, the truth is every human being goes through what is referred to as a cyclothemic cycle where they go through what are typically called mood swings where they feel throughout the day sometimes happy and throughout the day that same day also sometimes they feel a little bit sad and happy and sad and they go through an oscillation of feelings. It's a completely normal mood swing for any human being to go through and the truth is, if we're to observe our own actions and our own emotions and our own mood, sometimes as a trader, as a human being, you're going to feel happy and you're going to feel up and you're going to feel good and you're going to feel like you're in a good mood. So too, you're going to go through periods where you feel sad and you feel unhappy and you feel a little bit depressed, a little bit down, all those types of things, all those emotions. Okay. Now, in reality, if we're to observe a trader, they go through those two swings. So too, a trader is going to win. A trader is going to have levels of success. A trader is going to get payouts. And so too, part of the journey, because we're trading a probability model, that encompasses sometimes you're going to lose. Sometimes you're going to take, uh, you know, you're going to take losses that you don't necessarily want to take. But if we're to objectively observe a trader, both are present, both are true. And I've had the opportunity, and this was a, a big wake up call, a big eye opening moment for me where I worked with one of the first performance coaches I worked with as a trader myself, they were, they were coaching me, a very successful trader. One of the first things they said was, I make this amount of money, which was, it was a lot of money. And then they went on to say, but I continue to experience uh, significant losses. I continue to experience all the things that traders are trying to get rid of. And what this trader was trying to do or communicate to me was that no matter what level you're playing at, no matter what level of success you have, you're still going to go through the oscillations of doing well and having wins and also doing not so well and going to draw down and taking losses. Every single trader, irrespective of what level they're playing at, experiences both. So in reality, a human being and the, and the trading journey is very much two-sided. Both sides are present, the positive and the negative. And if you dig very deep and you have a look at that and you do a little bit of self-reflection throughout your journey, you'll actually recognize that throughout the challenging times, the negative times, the so-called negative times, when you experience loss or drawdown or pain in your journey or sadness or sorrow, um, these are actually times and periods in time where you self-reflect, you become more introspective, you figure out what's truly of priority to at that point in your life and you reevaluate. And there's a lot of benefits and blessings that come through these periods, through these, um, through, through these pains and through these challenges and through these drawdowns. And a lot of traders grow significantly when they face large challenges. So too, human beings, when they're faced with challenges in life, tend to go back to what's most important to them and they tend to grow quite significantly from these periods in time. And so too, these so-called happy and successful times what you can see a lot of the times is people or traders become very complacent. They stop doing what gets them there in the first place. So there are very much are benefits to these challenging so-called negative times. And there very much are drawbacks to these successful so-called successful periods as well. And really, if you've been watching this channel for a little bit of time, you recognize that a lot of what I teach is helping traders not get caught up in the polarities of the good and bad and the positive and negative, but learning to transcend those and go back to what is uh, most important as a trader, which is sticking to proper and proven processes, okay?
Now I'm getting, with, get, getting somewhere with this. So in reality, a human being, a trader is two-sided. I've got both sides to them. Now, sometimes, and a lot of the times, we get marketed this fantasy, this fantasy world of a trader that is one-sided. That is all positive. That is all winning. That is all happy and successful. And what is marketed, and the reason I think this is marketed is because on social media, people want to put their best foot forward. They only want to show their successful highlights. So what the end consumer of, of the content gets is just this highlight reel from an individual. They don't see both sides. All they see is this positive, successful, profitable, winning, happy, successful trader. And they get a one-sided fantasy. In reality, this doesn't exist. In reality, there is an unconscious side at play that is just hidden. And by the way, this is what's referred to as omission. It's very common in, in the news and marketing and manipulation where one side of the picture is removed and you only get this one-sided positive. This is, this is all you see. So this fantasy is promoted, but in reality, nobody can live up to it. Now, the reason why traders have toxic self-talk and they beat themselves up is what I'm going to share in part two. So this is part one of this lecture. Part two, let's dig into it. The reason why traders beat themselves up is because they are a two-sided individual. They have periods of success. They also have periods of not doing so well. But then in their mind, they have this fantasy that has been promoted to them, all right, of this individual who is all positive. And this fantasy exists nowhere except in a narrow mind. It doesn't, there's no evidence of it in reality, okay? And what happens is a trader who is doing very, very well despite having positive and negative results sometimes on a larger, on a larger time scale, they're still doing very, very well, then compares their two-sided nature to this one-sided fantasy. And the reason they have negative self-talk is because they're attached to this one-sided fantasy of being successful, positive, winning, you know, always payouts and always funded accounts. And when they're faced with the reality of who they are as an individual who's two-sided, they can't appreciate that and then they beat themselves up because they're not living up to this one side of fantasy, which by the way, doesn't exist anywhere except in their mind. So tr too many traders are holding on to this idea of being a one-sided, positive, all-winning, all-successful trader. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. You have to let go of that idea. The truth is the best traders are two-sided. Okay? And they win and they lose. Sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're sad. Sometimes they get funded, sometimes they don't. The best traders. The truth is we're trading a probability model, which means by definition, you have to experience losses. So the best traders aren't avoiding losses. They just have the proper plans and procedures and protocols in place to limit and minimize losses and cut losses quicker and let their winners run. So a big philosophy I'm also doing with a lot of my clients and students and, 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 and promoting now is that we have to do everything on a, on a technical level with their trading plan to minimize losses and maximize their wins. And now this seems like a very simple principle, but we're putting all the processes and plans and contingencies in their actual trading plan that a proven process is shown by the market to be proven and profitable to achieve these two outcomes, minimize their losses and maximize their wins. Now, when they're going and trading in the market, they don't have the expectation that they're always gonna win, they're always gonna be successful. What they have is a balanced, realistic expectation that they're two-sided, sometimes they're gonna win, sometimes they're gonna lose, but I'm gonna to stick to my trading plan because my trading plan is set in a way to maximize my wins and minimize my losses. So. The first thing that very successful traders do to get rid of negative self-talk is they have realistic expectations on themselves, okay? 
So they have realistic two-sided expectations on themselves. A realistic expectation is that sometimes I'm going to win, sometimes I'm going to lose. Sometimes I'm going to feel good, sometimes I'm not going to feel that good. Sometimes I'm going to be up, sometimes I'm going to be down. Sometimes I'm going to be happy, sometimes I'm going to be sad. And that is as real as it gets. But the issue here is if you would then impose this idea of this ideal of this fantasy that I'm always the positive and never the negative and I have to be that way, then you now mess yourself up because whenever you go through your very inevitable and normal swing of positive and negative, when you're in the negative, you beat yourself up. What's wrong with me? And you question yourself as an individual. So the second thing I would be digging deep and when I work with someone to help them break out of this trap, I'd ask themselves, what are the benefits of the negative side? What are the benefits to you of being in drawdown? What are the benefits of being sad? What are the benefits of taking losses? And really, when you dig deep and you go in there and, and answer the question to that, you realize that a lot of the times the negative and the challenge is essential for important lessons, for growth, for independence, for getting back to priority, and for getting back to process-based thinking. And if you really dig deep and you have a look at that and put it in context to your situations in your life, you'll, you'll recognize those lessons. Okay, but the reason traders have negative self-talk or toxic self-talk is because they're imposing a one-sided ideal that doesn't exist. It's a fantasy. And then when their two-sided nature as a human being doesn't live up to that, they have the negative self-talk, the toxic self-talk. They beat themselves up. The first way to overcome this trap is to have realistic two-sided expectations in yourself. Sometimes you're going to win, sometimes you're going to lose. And then take it one step further and go in there and find the benefits of the negative, the losing, the challenge, and see how that actually helps you become a better trader. And then to take it even one step further, go and find the drawbacks of being the winning and the positive. And recognize that when you get caught up in this fantasy land of being successful or winning, you tend to stunt your own growth and you tend to stop doing the action steps that take you to the next level. Okay, so this is an important shift in perspective that many traders need to have because if they don't and they continue to become attached to this ideal or this fantasy in their mind, the more negative self-talk they're going to have because they're trying to impose something on themselves that doesn't even exist. And it's, and it's completely unrealistic, doesn't exist. There's no evidence of it. Okay, so, so this is a little insight into where your toxic negative self-talk comes from and how you can balance that out. A lot of it comes down to having realistic expectations in yourself, okay? Now, I've created a free trading mindset tool, which is a bulletproof your mindset tool. And what that tool helps you do is, helps you go into your each and every single trade with realistic expectations and stick to your processes. Because what you find is that the more, the more you're focused on the outcome of a trade, trying to, be part of a winning trade and trying to seek after a winning trade and trying to seek the profit of a winning trade. And the more you're trying to avoid the pain of losing and you're, you're trying to go this way. Remember what I said, that the trading is a probability game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So the more addicted you are to the positive, the more painful the negative is and the losses are. So the way you overcome this little dichotomy or this little so-called paradox is the way you transcend it is by going from outcome-based thinking, which is down here, to process-based thinking. This level of thinking is that I don't care about the outcome. I'm unencumbered by it, whether it's a win or a loss. It doesn't matter to me. What matters is adhering to my trading plan and my trading processes. What matters is having a proven edge that I've put into a mechanical trading plan and I can consistently execute on that. And the consistent execution of that proven edge in my mechanical trading plan is what's gonna yield me my consistent profitability. So number one, have an edge that's proven. Number two, put that into a mechanical trading plan. Number three, use the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool to go from outcome-based thinking to process-based thinking. It's a free tool in the description. And by the way, I also have another free tool, which is a trading plan also in the description. And then number four, structure your life in a way that allows you to consistently execute in your trading plan with a balanced set of mind and over and over and over, and that's how you yield consistent profitability.
but I guarantee you the journey will become a lot more enjoyable. The journey will become a lot smoother and more successful if you drop this, this one-sided fantasy of being positive and successful and up all the time. It doesn't exist. Recognize your human nature encompasses both positive and negative, up and down, support and challenge. You take a lot of pressure off yourself and uh, you overcome toxic self-talk because now all of a sudden you accept yourself for both sides. You're not imposing a one-sided fantasy onto yourself. And that's when you start to really build, build momentum. Traders who get stuck in this trap of attempting to be positive and then beating themselves up when they get negative get stuck in the boom and bust cycle. Traders who encompass both and learn to learn to manage both build momentum and they and they start to they start to really get successful results. Okay? Hope that makes sense. Um, use those free tools, they're gonna to be useful, I guarantee that. And uh, thank you for watching to the end. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. But I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.